Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can implement multiple actions or you can say more than one actions in processes while using process builder in Salesforce. If you want to watch Salesforce training videos, you can search my name Sanjay Gupta on YouTube and you can follow my YouTube channel. So before, uh, start, before updating this process, we need to clone this existing process. So I'm cloning this as a version of current process. So now you can see, I already put a criteria. So criteria is if lead source is VAP, then this uh, action will be performed. So right now it is having one action that is send email. Now, if you want to add uh, multiple actions or more than one action, so you can click on this plus add action button. So now I'm going to add one more. So update description. So we have one field as description on contact. I want to select the contact record that started the process. That's why I'm selecting this first option. Now I want to update description field. And here I can put the value that I want to populate there. So I want this uh, as updated description, right? So uh, from type, you can select any other thing as well. Field reference, global constant of formula. So right now I'm selecting string and uh, pop, I want to populate this updated string value. So I'm saving this. So here you can see we have two immediate actions, right? If you want one more, you can click on this button and you can add one more action here that is required for your process. So right now I'm, uh, I'm uh, using these two options only, that is send email and update description. Now let's check this one again. So here you can see uh, start the processes when a record is created or edited. So I'm saving this one as well. So if I create or update any contact record, then if lead source is uh, VAP, then these two operations will be formed, right? One will send the email and second one will update the description field, right? Now I am activating this process, moving to contacts, creating new record, So test process for multiple actions. Email is Sanjay Gupta dot text at the rate gmail.com. Then lead source is web. And at bottom, you will see description field is available, which is right now blank. So I'm clicking on save. So it will uh, perform two operations. First, it will send email and another, it will update the description field. So let's check the mailbox. So here you can see mail is triggered and it is available here. Now, if I scroll it down, so here in the description, you can see the text updated description is available. So this way our process is performing two immediate actions. One is send, sending email and another one is updating description field. And it is happening whenever this lead source is equals to web. It is performed on contact object uh, while creating or updating the record. So I hope you understood how we can add more than one actions in processes while uh, using process builder in Salesforce. If you want to watch more Salesforce related videos, you can search my name Sanjay Gupta on YouTube and you can follow my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.